smiled when he said that he uh, was stalking me when he met me. <laughs> or I think actually it was Rabbi Levy who said that. Uh, I am fortunate enough to have two homes, uh, one in Manhattan and one in Rockland County. And I live in Manhattan Monday through Friday, traditionally, and I live on weekends up in Rockland County. So it's very unusual for me to be in my apartment in the city on a weekend. But coincidentally, and I don't know why it happened or how it happened, or maybe he, he, he spoke to Hashem and figured out where I was that weekend, exactly. Uh, the doorman downstairs rings upstairs and he says, uh, <clears throat> your friend Kalman is here to see you. <clears throat> Kalman is not a usual name. Uh, I don't have any other friends named Kalman. This is the first Kalman I ever met. But I told the doorman, I said, I don't have a friend named Kalman. It must be in a different apartment. And that was it. We didn't speak. And about 20 minutes later, I was there with my wife and my brother and his wife. And we were going out to dinner. We went downstairs in the elevator. And I happened to notice in the lobby a man with a black hat and a beard, and he's sitting on the couch. And I just, it just I connected for a second thinking, is that the comment that the doorman was referring to? But I didn't pay any attention to him. I just kept walking by. Apparently, the doorman must have said to Kalman, that's Mr. Bergson. And he came running after me in the street. And uh, he came in running after me in the street, almost like I'm a shigana. You know, and, and it was like, it, but he was very polite. Excuse me, I don't mean to offend you. You know, I know you must think I'm a shigar. You know, my name is uh, so-and-so and everything. I'm Rabbi Ron Heinfeld, and I need to speak to you about Pesach. Now, I had been getting some rumblings and some phone calls in my office about Pesach, and I didn't really know what was going on. And Rabbi Kalman started explaining it to me. And being the type of Yiddish boychik that I am, and uh, being raised the way I was by my, my father, who was a, a barina, a survivor, as was my mother, uh, I said, Rabbi, Rabbi, let's zoom in, zoom in, tish. Beautiful golf with this costume. How much is this going to cost me? All right. And he said to me, No, 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 this is not for money. This is for the Jewish community. And I asked him to explain what was going on. He briefly explained it. I said, I'm going to dinner. I'll, maybe I'll talk to you some other time. We went to dinner. We came back. Common was still sitting on the couch waiting for me. I said, Rabbi, if you're serious, come to my office tomorrow. I gave him my business card. He said, what time? I told him what time. And, sure, and I thought I, that was the last time I was going to see him. And sure enough, he came to my office the next day, and he explained that, well, first we had brunt villain, then he explained everything to me, then we had to dance a little bit together, <laughs> then we had to, to have a little party, we had to have a little schnapps, right? There's, no, there's nothing wrong with a little schnapps every once in a while, right? Kalman said that he has learned a lot from me. I've learned a lot from him. I've learned that first off, when you said that Hashem helped you, find me, I think you helped Hashem find me. It was the other way around. <laughs> I'm very flattered and I'm very humbled by being able to do this for the community. Uh, yes, of course, I grew up as a Jewish child in Brooklyn. Uh, I, am, I am not as observant as everyone in this room is. I said, I made a comment once to comment about that. He said, no, Simon, you are observant. You are observant in your way. And I just thought that that was so accepting and so positive because traditionally you don't hear that from especially a rabbi. And I appreciated it. Uh, I continue to do. But the, uh, the best thing that my wife appreciates, by the way, is that now every year I go on vacation for Pesach. <laughs> So with that, I just wanted, I wanted to share this story because to me, it was a very unique story. Uh, Kalman, Rabbi Kalman Weinfeld is a very unique individual. Uh, just very different, but very different in a very positive way. Uh, I'm proud to say he is my friend. He's the new, he's the rabbi of Manhattan Beer Distributors. Thank you very much.